know that most of you rarely use your pistols during a skirmish, but it's reassuring to know that the damn thing will fire when you really need it to. So in this teardown we'll be stripping and servicing a typical gas blowback pistol, the WE Glock 18C. Even if you don't own the pistol shown in this video, 90% of what we're demonstrating will be relevant to keeping your own maker pistol in good working order. It's all fairly simple stuff, so sit back, relax, and watch some guy you've never met clean his gun. You'll need cotton wool buds, cocktail sticks, a screwdriver or two, paper towel or your own preferred cleaning rag, silicon gear lubricant, note this is not silicon oil, white lithium grease, and air seal grease. All of this stuff is pretty affordable and can be ordered online from loads of supplies fairly easily. We'll put links in the description. This is a WE Glock 18C. Um, like all gas blowback pistols, it has a gas reservoir in the magazine. So to make the weapon safe, first thing we're going to do is take the magazine out and place that to one side. Now there's no chance of the gun firing accidentally. Next thing we have to do is obviously pull her apart. Like all automatic pistols, you have an upper and a lower receiver. On the Glock, there are two latches either side of the pistol here. You pull those down, just push the slide forward, the upper receiver will come away. Here we have the upper receiver. First thing we need to do is to remove the guide, spring and rod. Place that there. Now we need to remove the outer and inner barrels. They come out as a complete unit. So you slide those forward, lift them up, put the upper receiver down. Now we're left with the outer barrel, inner barrel and hop unit. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do obviously is to give the individual components a bit of a clean and a wipe. First thing you wanna do is take your lower receiver, grab yourself um, a bit of trusty kitchen towel. And the first thing you're gonna look at doing is just giving it a quick wipe over to remove any of the, the, the grime that your, your pistol has picked up. Obviously, if you've dropped the pistol or you've been out in the rain, anything like that, you wanna take a little bit more attention to the corners. Once you've gone over with the, um, the larger pieces of paper, cotton buds are fantastic for this. And anywhere you see anything that doesn't look right, get a little poke around in there, see what you can wipe off of the rail and inside the action, and any little bits and pieces that you pick up, obviously, um, you know you're, you're doing the job right. So moving on to the upper receiver, obviously this travels on rails along the lower receiver. Where the two surfaces meet, obviously you're looking to remove any of the guck that might have built up in there, as well as the old grease. Don't be stingy. Once they're grubby, throw them away. Grab yourself another one. Again, if you've been out in the rain, or if you dropped your pistol, or got it caught up in some dust or some sand, take extra care to get into all the corners and get out all the little bits and pieces. And then once that's done, you can put that to one side until we're ready to start reapplying grease. Gave me the spring guide. There's nothing really much that you can do with these. Obviously, if the gun has gotten particularly grubby, you can just check that there's nothing caught in these springs here. Make sure there's nothing that can scratch the action. There might be grit and sand and dust that you want to check that isn't got caught up um, underneath the guide and around the spring. Outer barrel, exactly the same thing. And just give that a wipe over. Any bits of um, matter that don't belong, get them blown out. Again, trusty cotton bud. Give that a wiggle down the outer barrel. Obviously the BBs don't touch the outer barrel, but if there's any rubbish in there, you wanna clean that out. The inner barrel on the hop unit, keep that clean. Just give it a quick wipe over. Any rubbish that's on there, you wanna take that off. Any build up of grease. Check there's no bits of detritus on there. Whilst you have the gun open, the hop unit has a couple of screws that keep it tight. Just take this chance to tighten those up and make sure everything is as it's supposed to be. If you wanna know how to clean the barrel, please look at our YouTube channel and you'll see uh, an entire video uh, on how to clean a barrel. 
Okay, so now we've uh, cleaned the uh, components of the pistol, uh, we need to reapply lubricant where needed. So the first thing we're going to do is take the lower receiver. There's very little lubricant actually required on these things. Don't use the loose silicon oil that we would use for cleaning barrels and things like that. It's too liquid um, and it will just drain right through the gun, cover absolutely everything. But what you can do is use the silicon grease on the hammer action in here. A tiny amount of silicon grease is all that's needed. And again, take your trusty cotton bud and get that and work that around the action. Push the hammer down, just a light coating. And that will travel around the system as the pistol is being used. Next, we're going to apply uh, a grease to the slide rails here, which is what the top action slide backwards and forwards on. We've always found the best thing to use for that is a white lithium grease. So with a small amount on the end of a cotton bud, all we're gonna do is put a small smudge over the guide rails. And then we're gonna work a little bit to the bottom of the rail. Don't worry if you go a little bit over, we're gonna clean that up. There we go. Now we're gonna take a clean cotton bud and we're just gonna work that over the top of the action, like so. And just take a bit of kitchen towel and clear any excess off the actual receiver of the gun. And while we have the lower receiver in our hand, we're just gonna check that that screw there is nice and tight, and then she's ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the upper receiver of the gun. And again, less is more when it comes to lubricants and grease. Uh, we want to put a small amount, again, of the white lithium grease we used on the upper receiver onto the rails. Because we've already applied some to one side, we can be very sparing with the amount that we put onto the upper receiver. Because obviously as the two halves go together, they will transfer a certain amount of grease amongst themselves. And we can just wipe off any excess. And when the upper receiver and lower receiver are mated and they start moving backwards and forwards across each other, then the grease will evenly distribute itself amongst the, uh, the contacting metal components. And while we have the upper receiver, take this chance to just check that the blowback housing screw is nice and tight. And with the nozzle forward and the upper receiver, we're gonna apply a little bit of air seal silicon grease to the piston head. And close down the nozzle. Our gun is all clean and ready to go. Obviously, we have to put it back together. So we're going to take the outer barrel, slide the inner barrel and hop unit into it. It will only go one way. You can try different ways of putting it together, but it will only fit in one way. Next, we want to take the upper receiver. They only fit one way. So the barrel assembly goes in there. Get that to seat. Then you take the guide rod and spring. These can be a bit tricky to get back in, actually. But we'll give that a go. There we go. Now you want to take the lower receiver and the upper receiver and they simply slide back together and you'll hear a click and then you just want to rack the slide just to make sure everything's back as normal and that's the pistol clean serviced and reassembled remember to hit subscribe to keep up to date with our latest content we also have a facebook page just search for airsoft teardown on facebook and if you need any upgrades repairs or custom work to your airsoft guns why not take a look at that bloke with the scar.com